Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are playing the Not So Berry Challenge. And today is also an exciting day because we are going to age Calvin up. Um, technically he's not supposed to age up for 12 more days, but I want him to be just a little bit older than Marie. And Marie ages up in two days. So we're going to age him up today. And what happens today is kind of like the determining factor of moving forward with this Let's Play. So we are going to throw a nice birthday party for him. Um, and then at that party, we are going to have Miss Kaya there. Um, Kaya is Calvin's ex-wife and also the new girl he has been cheating on Marie with, which they are also engaged, by the way. They got engaged in the last part. And honestly, we have all, like myself included, been pretty back and forth with where we want them to end up. I want them to stay together, but I also want Marie to be like a strong, independent woman. And you guys want like Calvin to get kicked out because Marie would never tallyate or Marie would never tolerate. I don't know why I said tallyate. What the heck? Marie would never tolerate being cheated on. But then also you guys think they should have an open relationship and things are just really, really back and forth as far as that goes. Um, so what happens today is going to kind of determine how everything goes down. We're actually going to throw a party at, um, we're going to go, let's see, or should we, should we just throw the party right next door? Yeah, we'll literally go right next door, Rhythm and Blues Lounge. We'll throw the party there. We'll make sure Kaya gets invited, but we'll pretend that she didn't get invited. We'll pretend she's just like showing up on her own because she's a party crasher. Um, and then, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. We'll go, you know, if Calvin gets caught cheating, um, if he even decides to cheat, like all kinds of things that is going to play out and kind of determine what happens. But it doesn't open till 2, so we're just kind of taking things slow. She does want to woohoo with him, so we will go ahead and make sure that happens today. Let's also get her up. Or get him up, excuse me. I did let him sleep until fully rested just because it is his birthday, you know, so why not? And while we wait for the party to actually happen, we need Marie to work on some skills. It'll probably be gardening because she's really close to improving that skill anyways. Um, we're going to go right next door. We're not going to make it exclusive access. We'll just go how it is. We will do a birthday party. We'll actually have it start at 3 because you guys know people tend to show up early. Um, so I want to make sure that everybody can make it. So we're literally just going to invite everyone we know because it really doesn't matter. We don't really know anybody. Um, we have, you know, Lydia and Juan and then Lewis, who eventually will hopefully be a good friend because, um, you know, she should have three good friends. What is... Why does her phone look like that? It's like she's holding the old phone from before university was released, but then the picture is showing. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, I want her in... <coughs> oh my gosh. Sorry, I just like choked on nothing. We love that. Let's see if we can give um, Smokey a bath really quick, and then you will take a shower instead of a bath so that... Um, the tub is open. All right, we're really going to do this. Give Smokey a bath. See if we can do it without going all the way outside. Come on, guys. It's not that hard. You did not use the bathroom like I told you to. And then you're going to go relax. Hopefully she actually gives Smokey a bath. Okay, stop. Stop. You're being so annoying. Just relax. Boy, go chew on something. What are you doing? I cannot with these animals. They're too freaking much. Okay. Um, just daydream while we wait for Marie. I'm not gonna risky woohoo or anything. We are going to just woohoo. Like, no chance of a baby. Absolutely none. I do not want that. No babies. Um, also, as far as moving into a new house that's more spacious, I'm going to just kind of wait and see. Um, basically, what happens at this party is really going to determine the future of this Let's Play. Um, as far as 
where did this come from selling that bitch thank you an extra thousand smolians um yeah the future of this let's play is really gonna determine what happens at this party if he cheats if he gets caught cheating um if he does get caught cheating maria will probably leave him she will probably move out and she will take ev and scout and Smokey, and we'll leave calvin here with dakota um and yeah, she'll be like completely starting from scratch, basically. So she'll leave all her stuff and all of that. So we have about two hours before we need to get to the party. Calvin is going to grab something to eat. And I am getting a phone call from my grandmother. So I'm actually going to pause real quick and I will be back. Okay, I am back. Sorry, that was, um, it's tax time if you guys have a job and have to do taxes um so yeah it's tax time so my grandma is my tax person so she's just talking to me about that um smoky you need to back the hell up you need to back the hell up because calvin can knock it out of bed thank you he needs to eat before we go to the party it's literally right next door so it's not going to take us very long and we are going to leave ev at home we're just going to hire a babysitter because we're going to a club like a literal club does he work today? Oh, shit. Um, call in fake sick. I don't care if he gets in trouble, honestly, because he's like, I, like, I don't care about him. Um, so if he gets in trouble, it's totally fine. And honestly, I might have Marie be late to the party so she can finish her garden. Um, I know that's horrible. Wait, I feel like that was, oh, that's Lois. Okay. Lois. Lewis. Um, for some reason I thought that was like Marie's brother, but then I remembered she has no family. This is her family. <laughs> That's it. Um, but yeah, I think, hold on, my grandma is calling me again. All right. And I'm back again. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to have him clean up, fill these food bowls, and then we're going to head next door. We're going to go over there. It doesn't even open. I mean, it opens in 10 sim minutes, so he probably could make it. Um, but it doesn't even open. It just now opened, and the party doesn't start for another hour. So I'm not too worried about it. Marie improved. Oh, girl. No, no, no. Do your garden first. Marie improved her gardening skill, which is super exciting. I'm actually going to get rid of this because we're not going to go on the hunt for seeds. Like that's just not something we're going to do. So she needs two more levels for her job. She also needs to master it for this generation. So we really need to get working on it. Um, another thing about, oh, she can finally plant it now. Oh my gosh, she can plant so many more things. I'm so excited. Um, but another thing about moving is we would be able to have like a nice big garden which is really exciting i think when she if they end up breaking up and she does move to like a really small house or something well i'll probably do like a little house in the country um where she can have a big garden she'll probably just take a few things like the science her planters and then maybe like the baby stuff because obviously she's gonna take ev um Ev, let's see, she's just gonna keep playing that until she needs to go to the bathroom and then she'll come play with the blocks. He is off to his party. I am going to, like I said, I'm gonna keep um, Marie at home, excuse me, until she's done with her garden and then she will come here. She honestly might miss him actually aging up and I'm also really quickly going to um, buy a birthday cake because you cannot age up without it. So let me grab that real quick. Um, we'll get him this basic boring one because he's a basic bitch, you know, you know, oh, I forget. I have to actually set it down on something. Come on, camera. Stop it. Okay, we'll put it there and then we'll throw it in his inventory quick so it doesn't start a fire. <laughs> um, throw it in your inventory and then head back over to him so honestly i think this is like the perfect setup him going to the bar without marie marie saying she'll be there later and um i mean i was hoping that kaya would already be here it said that the party guests had arrived but i don't see literally anybody not one person except the workers 
it's literally just the workers i love that um let's come over here and order a drink hopefully people will start showing up oh justine is here okay she's the only non-worker here love that for her okay oh girl it's kaya it's kaya it's kaya oh he's booing justine i was like bitch don't boo the birthday boy the second he walks into the building <gasps> be accused of cheating kaya no <laughs> kaya no calvin grooves and we're gonna hold on oh my gosh testing cheats enabled the true kaya you are literally married to someone else and he is literally married to somebody else there's no need to do this he can fight her i love that um so we're gonna go up and we are going to do a heat of the moment kiss i low-key hope her husband her husband is here her husband's here i love that i'm obsessed with that we're just gonna cheat her hygiene up because i really don't want her to take a shower before coming so a nice heat of the moment kiss he's like oh my ex-wife i miss you so much oh wait 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 close that freaking door <gasps> and she took him back she said oh i miss you too her her literal husband is right there her full-blown husband is right there i cannot um let's go ahead and hold the phone we're gonna risky woohoo with her i'm pretty sure they'll go to the elevators group conversation uh-uh look at he's yell he's like are you fucking kidding me the reason we came here is because you said you were over him he was married had a baby or he's engaged had a baby with someone else you said you were over him so i was comfortable coming to your ex-husband's birthday party oh my gosh how much longer does she have until she's over here i'm kind of like i would love if she walked in as they were walking out of the elevators from their woohoo you know i think that would be hilarious um i think she just has the one left after this yeah she just has the one left and then she'll be over here so that's perfect they're going all the way to the hot tub are you serious I mean, whatever floats your boat. A nice hot sub woohoo is pretty fun, too. Oh, my gosh. And after this, he does need to age up. Um, actually, it's not actually his birthday, so if he ages up super late, it's not the end of the world. So I'm actually not too worried about it. And I'm sorry I said actually 75 times. Hopefully we can go in here. Okay, yeah, they didn't even try to stop us. Perfect. We're not a celebrity, are we? No. Okay, so Kaya will get through just fine. Is she coming still? Okay, yeah, she's just really slow. I am surprised they didn't just elevator woohoo. Oh my god, there's Lydia. <gasps> okay, the T, the freaking T. So Lydia's gonna be like, oh my, where's Marie? Like, that's her fiance. She threw this party and he just went up to the third floor secretly with his ex wife. And she's like, okay, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta tell Marie what's going on here. Answer the phone. Absolutely not. He should already have been at work by now. It. He's at a party. Leave him alone. Scout. Okay, call a babysitter. Call a babysitter. Call a freaking babysitter. And hold on. Let me just fix this because you guys know I can't ever keep dogs social up. Um, okay, so the hot tub broke, so they decided to not risky woohoo. We're gonna go ahead and try it again in the elevator. And Marie, where is she? She came in here. Oh, and here's Lydia. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. We're gonna ask her about her day, and then Lydia's gonna be like, hey, um, you might want to go, you know, you might want to go in that section of the lounge because, um, yeah, I saw him go up to the third floor with his ex-wife and she goes, oh hell no, that is not happening. I'm coming up here and we're going to see what's going on. We're actually not going to chat. We're just going to ask about her day. And that's where she's like, hey, like I saw Calvin go up to the third floor with Kaya. I know they're the only ones up there. You might want to go see what's going on. So Marie's like, oh hell no, bitch. Here I come. Here I freaking come get in that elevator oh my god this is so scandalous okay so 
What the hell? What happened? <laughs> I love that this just looks like a room. Um, okay, I'm not going to be able to get any pictures because this lot will not allow it, but we're going to watch as he's... Oh my god! She wants to get a drink. Girl, of course. Oh my god! They were naked! Okay, go here. What are you doing? Get out of the elevator. <gasps> she rode up in the same elevator as them! I told her not to! Oh my god. Oh my god. She's like, what are you doing in this elevator alone with your ex-wife? Oh my god! So she's gonna argue with him. She's gonna be like, what were you doing in there? Like, why are you two the only ones up here? This is just, I mean, you have to understand from my point of view how this is a little bit weird. And he's like, no, I promise, like, her husband's here, nothing was going on, like, we were just talking. I was coming down to look for you, because I didn't know where you were, why you were late. So he's gonna argue back. He's gonna be like, you know, how can you not trust me? I literally left her for you. Like, obviously, I care about you so much. Do not go order food. It's like, obviously, I care about you so much. I literally left her for you. Like, the fact that you don't trust me is so rude. Okay. And let's... We're gonna put that there, and we're just gonna de delete this chair. So, they are both gonna go... <gasps> What? Hold on. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Why? I did not cue any of... <gasps> Why are they so low? Did she catch him cheating? Oh my god. Ah, I can... Okay. You know, I'm going to have to take pictures this way, which is unfortunate, but I need pictures of this. She straight up is just like, you know what? You're going to yell at me at the birthday party that I threw for you. I already don't trust you. So, like, we're done. And it's as plain as that. I probably could exit out of it, but I low-key love this. Oh, my God. He's like, oh, I got to get Kaya in the background. He's like, you really think that I care? <gasps> oh my god. Hold on, Calvin, get over here. <gasps> She's going home. No, I wanted him to just like run up and kiss her. Ex-girlfriend, ex-fiance, okay, get it right. Get it freaking right. Oh my god. Well, we still need to age him up, so he's going to run downstairs, and she is going to walk downstairs because she does not care about getting there in time. Oh my god. All right, I'm going to have her stop, and hopefully the babysitter will feed her and then put her... <gasps> it has been brought to my attention that you misuse a sick day. Not feeling awesome is not a legitimate reason to use a sick day, Grooves. Oh my gosh. I mean, we did invite him to the birthday party, so we shouldn't have been that surprised, but oh my god. Can you, yeah, please give her a bottle. All right, Calvin. I cannot believe she broke up. I didn't even tell her to do that, you guys. She chose that. She made that choice herself. Oh, I didn't even need to delete the chair because he just went around to the other side. Love that. Um, yeah, she made that choice herself to break up with him. I am gonna have her... Why is she in that ugly outfit? Did he change your clothes or what? Okay, girl, crawl in here and then he should come up here and feed you. Um, alright, Calvin's aging up. I don't really care about him. We're basically done with him. I cannot believe she broke up with him for just simply, like yelling at her like she didn't catch him cheating she accused him of cheating and even though he did cheat he basically told her like you're crazy for thinking i would cheat on you and she's like you know what we're done we're breaking up
Calvin is now a fully mature, at least some of the time, adult. <gasps> you know what I didn't even do? Um, I did not check to see if he got Kaya pregnant. I really should have done that. I really should have done that. Calvin's having a midlife crisis. Well, you know what? He's kind of a piece of shit, so he deserves to have a midlife crisis. Actually, yeah, girl, go use the bathroom. Um, this side. And then you are not going to eat his birthday cake because feck Calvin. You're going to buy food from there. And then you will come down and use this. And I think he's going to go to Kaya's house tonight. I know Kaya's married, but um, I don't care. I really don't care. He's going to go to Kaya's house tonight. He's going to see... <gasps> Here's Kaya. All right, guys. Moment of truth on if he got her pregnant or not. Moment of truth, okay? He did not. Okay, honestly, not a big deal. Um, I might have him... <laughs> I might have him just try for a baby just to spite Marie. I think that would be very much so some good tea. Um, I really, really think so. Are you done eating yet? Put her to bed. So let's actually, um, let's form a group with her and then we'll go back to her house together. Oh my God, look at this. She's like, I cannot believe I just broke up with my fiance who I have a child with at his birthday party. Oh my gosh, her party was a modest success though. She had a great party. She does still want to get married, so I would like to get her married in the future. Um, I guess we'll do a veggie taco. She wants to be friends with Cal. See, she already is like regretting her decision. She's like, maybe I was too harsh. So I think they're gonna move out and they're gonna do their own separate thing, but maybe Marie is gonna try. Why are we celebrating again? It's nobody's birthday. Maybe Marie is going to try to, like, um, fix things with Calvin. You know, she'll start off by saying, oh, it's for Ev so I can be a good co-parent. And then it'll kind of change to, like, um, no, maybe I do just like him. All right. Girl, you need to go home. Like, the fiancé you literally broke up with an hour ago is hitting on another woman right in front of you, forming a group with her. Okay, so let's go to her house, I think. She's still married to him, right? Hold on. I did not mean to zoom in. Okay, she is still married to him, so... We're gonna go to, go to her house. <laughs> We're gonna go to her house. Dude, come get us. Put us in the freaking crib. Are you kidding me? It's 1 a.m. It is 1 a.m. and you have not put my child to bed yet? Okay, I don't want her to go on the home lot until uh, Ev is in bed. Go put her to bed. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. She did it anyways. Like a freaking jerk. Are you going to put her in the crib at least? Okay. Yeah, she's going straight. Are you serious? How does she hear it? Dude. Oh my god. Put Ev in her crib then. Put her in her crib. This is so annoying. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Boy, stop working out. You're disgusting. This babysitter should be fired. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You let my toddler pass out because you took so long to put her in bed. I'm so mad. Okay. Put Ev in bed and then you go to bed as well. Let's jump over here. Where is Kaya? Because I need you guys to try for a baby. <laughs> I need you guys to try. Not like woohoo, not risky. I need you to try. Oh my god, and Marie ages up literally tomorrow. Um, all right, where is Kaya? Try for a baby with Kaya. Turn that off because that annoys me. And I'm not going to bother... Well, I'll change his hair. That's all I'm going to do as far as the makeover goes. Just because he is going to be moving out probably in the next part, like in the morning. Um, 
yeah, Sunday after they're he's done, you know, here, um, he'll probably go home and they'll have a little discussion and he'll move out. Or no, 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 no. She'll move out. He will stay. Uh-oh, game, don't do this. This scares me so much when this happens. Whew. I just really want him to get Kaya pregnant literally instantly. I think that would be hilarious. And maybe we can get pictures of it this time. The way he sautés over, oh my god, it kills me. All right, girl, is you pregnant? Let me see. I did not hear the baby jingle. She's not pregnant. Try for a baby again. Um, okay, since it's already 3 in the morning, I'm actually going to end this part here. Um, the only thing you're going to miss is they're literally just going to woohoo until she gets pregnant. Um, and a lot of crazy shit's going to go down moving forward because Maria's world just got literally turned upside down. So I'm going to end this part here. The next few parts are going to be absolutely insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know with a thumbs up, commenting down below, subscribing. You all know the deal. And I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye, guys.